What's up YouTube? Back again for another album review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the most recent album released by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, one of the you know biggest bands, one of the best bands of all time. This being their 2016 release, The Getaway. This album, I heard obviously like pretty much everybody else, you heard the main single Dark Necessities, you know, first. But then, like, you did, you had to really dig deeper into the rest of the album to see, you know, obviously how the rest of the album was. And I got the album on CD and on vinyl here, as you can see, and I am a big fan of this album. I've really enjoyed this album. And honestly, like, at first, like, I thought the first half of the album was exceptional, which I still do. And the second half, I didn't think it was that great. It kind of fell off. But honestly, now, I'm the album's getting more consistent because I'm liking more of the second half of this album more than I did a few months ago or whatever. So I'll go ahead and get in the track listing here. And oh, another little side note too: I'm seeing the Red Hot Chili Peppers in concert in about a month and a half, so I'm pretty hyped for that. My first time seeing them. So this is their, you know, most recent album, Getaway. So get, get in the track listing here. Okay, so first song, what's it on the back? The Getaway. That's the title track. I absolutely love this song. This is probably my second favorite song on the album. I love The Getaway. It's such a good song. One of my absolute favorites on here. Got such a great, just you know, vintage Red Hot Chili Peppers sound. It, it's awesome. You just awesome. I mean, you can pretty much say the same thing about <laughs> pretty much say the same thing about every song on here. The bass is awesome. The lyrics are awesome. The vocals, whatever. It's just just an you know, awesome song. The get the getaway is one of the best songs on here, no doubt. Then we have the main single, the second song, Dark Necessities. Great song. I was really really listening to this song a lot late in the last few months when it first came out, but and it's still a great song. Easily one of my three or four favorites on the album. Dark Necessities is really good. Just awesome bass work. You know, just that's all you can say about it. It's just such a good song. And, you know, it it's very, like just like The Getaway, it's very vintage RHCP. So Dark Necessities is classic. Then we have the next song, We Turn Red. And this is my favorite song on the album. I love We Turn Red. It's, it's such a good song. It, it really is. It's, it, it's, it's just such a great song. It, I love the groove of it. It's just got everything you would want in a Red Hot Chili Peppers song in it. And We Turn Red's really good. Very catchy. Really good song. Just one of the best ones on. One of the best they ever put out, in my opinion. And, and my favorite on here. Then we have The Longest Wave. Another great song. This one's... I've been listening to this song a lot lately, even. The Longest Wave's awesome. One of my favorite ones on here. Probably my... Like, I, probably in the top three or four as well on here. This album's just such... It's got so many good songs when it's hard to rank them. But The Longest Wave, I'm a big fan of this song. I love this song. Very good. I can see why a lot of people would say it's the best on the album. And it's definitely up there. Then we have Side B, starting off with Goodbye Angels. Another great song. I'm a big... I love this song as well. There's a, somebody I know, actually, that says it's his, this is his favorite song on the album. And I could definitely see why. It's got really good tempo to it. Really good song, great lyrics, more vintage, you know, just vintage, vintage sounding RHCP. Just another great song. Then we have Sick Love. This is a pretty good song. This is honestly one of my least favorites on the album, but it's not bad. It just kind of gets lost in the shuffle with some of these other songs on here. It kind of, you know, kind of resembles like, I guess, an odd song out kind of feel, but it's still a pretty good song. Nothing really to complain about it. It's got some good stuff in it. Then we have Go Robot, which is the single that they've been playing on the radio a lot lately, and I, I'm a big fan of Go Robot. It's really good groove to it, really good funk, up-tempo, really good song. I love Go Robot. It's one of the best ones on here. Just one of the catchiest, most, you know, funk-filled funk songs on here. Very vintage, RHCP, like I said about other songs, so really good there. Then we have Side C, starting off with Feasting on the Flowers. This is a good song. It, it's not like... It's one of my least favorite on the album, but it's still a pretty good song. Nothing really too negative to say about it, besides the fact that it just kind of gets lost a little bit. But it's still a pretty good song. Nothing too much to say negative about it. Then we have Detroit, and I'm a big fan of this song. I really like Detroit. It's a very good song. Really, really catchy. Really good lyrics. Really good. Kind of a more heavier song, I guess you could say, than some of this other stuff on here. But Detroit's a very good song. Big fan of it. Then we have this Ticonderoga. This is a really cool song. This is like... It's like it's pretty much it's pretty much got two parts into the song. It's really cool how it changes up mid song. So this Ticonderoga, I'm a really big fan of this song as well. Another really good song there. Not quite as good as like, you know, the first side or two sides of the album, like, you know, but that goes without saying. But this is still a good song. I like it a lot. Then we have side D kicking off with Encore. This is a good song. This is it's it's one of my honestly probably one of my least favorites on here, but it's still a pretty good song. 
kind of a more slower paced, easy going or more easy going song, but Encore is still a pretty good song. I like it. Then we have the Hunter, and this is a, another pretty good song. It, you know, it kind of it kind of gets lost too a little bit, to be honest with you. But it's not a bad song. It's okay. It's it's pretty good actually. So it, there's not too much to cur to criticize that one on either. Then we have the last song on the album, Dreams of a Samurai. And I honestly, I don't know why, but I'm honestly not a very big fan of this song. I mean, it's not bad. It's a pretty good, okay song. But I'm honestly not a big fan of this song. Honestly, it's just a little bit too maybe long and drawn out. Maybe I think it's probably the long. I think it's the longest song on the album. And it, I don't know, it's okay, but it just doesn't do much for me. So, Dreams of Samurai is okay. Just leave it at that. So, yeah, that's all the songs on The Getaway. And overall, this album's very good, very consistent album. It's got a lot of good stuff on it. You know, it, it really just solidifies RHCP as still being just a huge factor in rock music and the music scene in general. And they just, you know, they've been out for obviously 30 years plus, and they just continue to make great albums and get better and better. As far as my rating goes for this album, I'd probably give this album about about a 7.5 out of 10. Possibly an 8, but 7.5 or 8 out of 10. It's a very consistent album. I don't think I could... I don't know. I don't know about an 8 out of 10, but at least 7.5. Very solid album. So yeah, that was my review of RHCP's The Getaway. Thank you all for watching, and more videos will be up in the future. Thanks for watching.